Okay, this is the final level 10 basic uh, part of the hackthissite.org. What we are going to do in this level is we've got a password field here, so we're going to try to type in a password and see what happens. So I'm just going to enter test and submit. And you notice that we have uh, just a message here that says that we're not authorized to use the page. There really isn't a whole lot of information here as to how to get into this thing or what we should do. But one of the things that I want to look to see is if the site actually happens to be using cookies. Because if it does, it's, uh, there's a possibility we could use those cookies to our advantage to, to try to get into the site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and we're going to go to the preferences for Firefox. We're going to show cookies. And then I'm going to type in hack this site to see what's down here for this particular thing. And, and one of the things that I see here is a cookie that says level 10 underscore authorized. And if we look down here, the content is no, which basically would make one think that maybe entering yes would allow me to get into the, the site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. We're, we're going to make a note of what level 10 underscore authorized. And we're going to use the same type of JavaScript uh, trick we used in an earlier part. We're going to try it again. So we're going to go in here, do a JavaScript, and we're going to use alert document dot cookie equals level 10 authorized equals yes. And we're going to end our alert. And just like you know the earlier one, it comes up and echoes the, the alert if you do it correctly. And we're just going to click OK. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'll show you the, the cookie to show you that the thing did what we said. So if we come back in here and look for that cookie again, you'll notice now that it says yes. So we're going to go ahead, now that we have a cookie that has been basically authorized to, to tell the system that it's okay for us to get into the site, we're just going to submit this. We're not even going to type in a password. And you'll notice now that we have the ability to get into the website, and we never even entered a password to begin with. We went in and hacked the cookie and got in. So this is a, a good example of the fact that you do not want to store whether or not someone has access to the site or not in a, in a cookie like this because it's very easy to go in and override the contents of that cookie.